Good morning and welcome to the grow room. Uh, yes, and so it was uh, an update. Yes, um, I'm just doing a checkup, and that's to spy for stuff that is very easily hidden and very hard to find. Um, first up, um, there's my pink epidendrum radicans and it's busy producing the the typical puffball epidendrum radicans has when it's in full flower um, this one is a little yellow one is starting with a flower spike uh, it's very very hard to see at the moment but I know it's a spike um, here is Comet Valley Orange Star, also budding, but that will take a while, at least four weeks. Once they start to open, they are really, really fast. This is my first one, and it is, uh, yeah, it is red, but bordering on orange. And it has a very different color than the Comet Valley Orange Star, and that's the cake I got from Roger. This is a bit, a little bit tomato red. Tomato red, yeah. Um, the lip is also red, and I believe the Comet Valley has a, a very light colored lip. There's the well, it looks the same color as the big one, but uh, this one is deep red, burgundy or catholic red. These are not my own. It's starting here with a new flower spike, but meh, that's failing. Um, the Plurothelis ruskifolia is done flowering. There are a few more leaves that <coughs> should get a, a bud, but new growth all around. Um, oh yeah, these are the ones to watch, yes, um, this is the Pescatoria and this is the Louisendorf, although I'm not really sure of that. Um, it skipped last year, but it produced a wonderful fresh new bulb, first time I had that, never before. Um, Here's the new growth. <coughs> the new growth, and I'm gonna have to watch this very, very closely because it is flowering size. Yes. These orchids work the other way around. They make a fresh growth, start flowering, and then produce bulb. And I have actual proof of that because just discovered there's a fresh new growth on the Cygatoria. Yeah. Now look at this. And that's what I mean with easily hidden and hard to find. It's in leaf wrecked. But oh there's a flower spike. Um this one can produce another one, which comes from here, but judging by the size of the spike it already has, I think it's going to be one. Uh, this one can give three spikes on one growth. It has done it before. Um, another one to watch is the French town, <coughs> right there in the sun, and it also flowers on immature growth and I'm waiting for spikes and I know they will come. That's a, a very reliable bloomer. Let me get it. Mm. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, that was a reference to Sesame Street. Uh, let me 
see if I can get you. Uh, here we are. And the trick is to look here. You can do that. Very careful. Let's see if the other one has signs. No, not yet. Yeah, it had three uh, spikes on one growth last year. And I believe it's this one. Yeah, it's really, really happy. There's a bit of algae in the pot, but wah, what the hey. It's just algae. It could be dangerous. But do I care? <laughs> well, not in a moment. Oh, oh. Um, I also need to do a little bit of watering. Um, and morphia. Here we go. New leaf. Oh, there's a new leaf coming. Good roots. New leaf. Right next to that, also new leaf. This one I showed you a week ago. Now, there as well, and here's one coming, there's one coming. So this one is <coughs> new growth all around, very yippy. Um, and cyclia, it's a little bit hard to get, but <coughs> I have to reach over the table. Uh, yeah, that psycho spike is really a surprise. I wasn't expecting that. Oui. And Cyclia Tempensis, or so they say it is, Albafor. Um, Todd from Top Tropicals has one in flower at the moment and that really looks a lot like this one. And there we go. It's supposed to have this dark color. And what I want to show is progression of the flower spikes. Oh, hold up. There we go. It's really, really close up. Because it is really, really hard to see. But that's the flower spike extending. And when you first saw it, it was just the upper tip you see. And you can see how much it has grown. Grew, growed. Uh, <clears throat> that's not all. There's one as well. How? Oh, yeah, bear with me. There's one as well. <clears throat> now these get about four inches before flowering will start. So it's going to take a very, very long time. I think in End of July prediction. And again, this one is really, really happy. Also really, really thirsty. Yeah, I'm gonna remedy that in a moment. 
Epidendrum. No, not a cat and cyclia. Damn the bloody names. It's an orchid. With green flowers. Yes. Uh, more stuff. Well, let's do some. Let me see how the Marfitch Renaissance Coral is doing. It's also uh, a back-breaking reach. It's good and so nimble. Uh, oh, oi, oi, oi. And there we go. Now shut up and be happy. Marfitch, here we are. This one also has a trick of growing on immature growth or flowering on immature growth. Let's see. Uh, what I usually do is just keep it in front of the light. No, nothing yet. It is already starting with a bulb. And you can feel that. Now this one is bigger, so this one is, yeah, don't have to check that, do we? No. If you can't move the leaves, leave it. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, super green roots. And at the moment it's warm in the grow room. It is 22 degrees at 85% humidity. Which means that it's really, really balmy. And the moment I step into the living room, I freeze my balls off. Yes, I will. Um, Marfitch hasn't got anything yet. Um, that's about it. That one flowered this year, so don't have to check it. The, um, that look I don't believe I'm saying I'm expecting new growth. What is this? Aha! Aha! Uh, problem which needs to be fixed. And you can already hear I'm getting medicine. On sitting honeybee. And it sucks that it's doing this. Yeah, you see that? That is no bueno. This growth is happy. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take this one off and clean it up. And perhaps give it a repot this afternoon because something is very, very wrong. That was not there when I last watered it. This one has small yellow flowers with a bee pattern or a bee or wasp pattern. So it should be called Oncidium wasp, not honeybee. Well, it's a lot better than the Renaissance Marfitch Coral. The all important Helen Hawkins use. And just drip it until the, the part is saturated. It was. Uh, the part I cut out was dry, as you can see, there's nothing in it, so it's just common rot. There we go. <clears throat> Problem solved. And it really is. Every time I use this stuff, the rot stops, no matter how bad it is. Yeah, you enjoy my zygote. 
It's also floppy in the pot, which means that the root system is probably done and the new one hasn't started yet. <clears throat> More stuff. Mm, yeah, let's enjoy the extending flower spike on the meiosis. This one is an unnamed hybrid, but it looks like Herr Alexander, so I called it Alexandra. And this one, with a lot of oncidium types, the spike comes from the first leaf bract. But with this one, it's coming from the third. But there it is. And I've been checking this one, but no, it's not giving me one. This one can, but I think it's not large enough. Oh, just pull the leaf back gently. Uh, no, no, nothing. Uh, that was just about everything worth checking on the big table. I'm going to have the small table which only has dendroniums and Vaxelixella. And those are just growing. And that's a spot where it grows. It never gets light, it stays moist. Well, this is basically all cool growing and I changed that to wet growing. Um, that seems to be a, a thing they all have. All cool growers like to be wet and because I can't give them cool, I will have to give them wet. Barsevixella, oh, this is the... Last Chance Catlea and it still feels like something is happening but it's not doing much. This is the Skin Rai Casa Luna. Uh, this is the one that isn't doing anything yet. This one has a new growth. Mm, right now. And this one has a new growth. Uh, they look horrible, but what are you gonna do? Um that's a pretty big growth on the phalaenopsis type. And now we're coming to the last bit, this wall, and everything here is not far enough to be able to flower. Yeah, that one is, but I don't think that's a tricky plant. And it's the last plant I have from the bad nursery. Could be the reason why. Um, the unnamed and unknown hybrid, small oncidium, and you can see that the flowers are splitting. Oh, it's here. It's letting go. So, one or two days and we know what this is. I can already tell you that it's dark color. It says yellow, but it probably is, but with brown stripes, as a lot of oncidiums do. Ooh, 
a new, new fresh discovery. Yeah, you can see that. That little thingy here. That's a new growth. Wasn't there the last time I watered it. That's the Salati Fimbriata. And if you want to know what it looks like, um, Margaret has one um, that's a big Salatini, but it's basically the same as what I have. And this one stays small. In size, not in growth pattern. Um, okay. Um, I think I have bored you enough with yet another update, a green update. Let's end on some color, shall we? Okay, where was I? I was brutally interrupted. <clears throat> um, I think that was it. Oh, I hated being interrupted right at the end. Yeah, um, well, that's about it. <clears throat> Green update. Let me check if I forgot something. Uh, oh yeah, sure, I always forget stuff. Um, this is the Brazada Nevada, and it also grows on immature bulbs. But not the, ah, uh, no. Oh, wait a minute. No. No, that's a root. Uh, I got this one a few weeks ago as a replacement. Let's check if that one is doing something. And yeah, that mini mark. It stays pretty, and for weeks now. Um, the big Pescatoria is growing its head off, no sign of flowers yet. <coughs> Let me, uh, oh. It's done flowering here. Yeah, this spike should be a lot longer. Ah! A new growth. And not in an easy spot. Oh. I have to cut away this one and this one to get this one free. And that's really, really annoying. Ah! Well, <clears throat> not that annoying. New growth. Come on, man, I want flowers. Stop growing. No, it's not big enough, although. It's creating a bulb. Okay. Uh, yeah, do we need to see this? Well, whose video is it? Now let's see if we can do this in a civilized way. Where were my little scissors? Hold up. Yeah, I had to step into the living room and that's really, really, really cold. And it goes to show how much heat is trapped in humid air. Okay, uh, first incisions. Yeah, 
Yeah, this has to be tough. Oh. A good dog sideways and it will do what it should do. Oh. And plant itself doesn't really mind. This is not a reason for setback. And then we have a new growth just below the growth, or is that the growth? No, that's brand new. Um, the growth in here has cracked the leaf. So I'm going to make use of that. And now really, really careful because I don't want to wreck that second growth. Now I'm going to leave this piece, it will dry out because, well, yeah, what the hell, take it off, take it off. Now the other side, oh, it's really, really fun when they do this and normally uh, the bulbs aren't as close together as this one. And it's a young plant, so it hadn't had enough time to fan out. Here's also a growth. So, that's four growth on a bulb. It's ridiculous, I tell you. It is. Uh, well, this one has room to grow, at least uh, root-wise, so I'm not going to fiddle around with the leaf that's still in there, it will die off and cause no trouble. And now I'm done with a green update, or am I? Oh, uh, I was busy with the little hole. Dendrochylum cobianum hasn't woken up yet, still recovering from uh, the split and the mount. But we do have an extending flower spike on the catacetum. Focus, there we are. Now it looks that the tip is dying back because usually when uh, flower tips get yellow on this color it means they aborted not in this case 
Uh, and that's about it. Oh no, not it's not about it. Look, there's my Krista Erdman. Still not in bloom, but that's okay because it's producing roots. And oh also a new growth. Uh, that's enough close-ups, I think. There we go. Let's end on some color. Or am I going to segue into something else? Well, let's see what he does. Um, <clears throat> there is my Fragmopedian bubbler. It's not bubbling at the moment because it's really annoying. And the most annoying part is you can hear it through the whole house. It's at a frequency that I can hear. Very low. And at some point, your mind starts playing tricks on you and you think you can feel the vibrations. Yeah, so I'm not sure. And I'm gonna give it a while. I still haven't seen new roots, but <clears throat> I'm going to give it a few months and if I'm not totally insane, I'm going to quit the experiment because I am going totally insane. Yeah, it's really annoying. Um, well, that was it. A lot of news from the collection. A lot of flowers. A lot of flowers. Yeah, I'm really waiting for the, the Comet Valley. <coughs> Uh, Roger has his in full pom-pom at the moment, so if you want to see that, uh, well, he, he doesn't have it in his videos very often, I think. Well, come on, show it. <coughs> Everything in blue. Oh, we have to wait a month. Yeah, this is it, guys. Later.